If you're trying to decide between Hostinger and Bluehost, this video will make your choice easy. These are two of the biggest web hosting providers in the world, and both claim to be the best. But which one actually gives you the best value, best speed, and best features for your money? Stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is better for your needs, and how to get the best deal through the link in the description below. That link always gives you the lowest price available, so make sure to grab it before you sign up. Let's start with Hostinger. Hostinger is known for being one of the most affordable hosting providers on the market, but low price doesn't mean low quality. Even at their cheapest plan, Hostinger gives you impressive performance, fast loading speeds, and strong security features. Their servers use Lightspeed technology, which makes websites load incredibly fast, something that's super important for SEO and user experience. You also get a free SSL certificate, free email, malware protection, and automatic backups, so your website stays safe and secure without any extra setup. Another big reason why people love Hostinger is their custom control panel, called HPanel. It's very beginner-friendly, clean, and simple to use. You can manage everything, from installing WordPress to checking performance, all in one dashboard. It's perfect for beginners who don't want to deal with complicated settings. And for the price, you get an amazing deal, hosting for just a few dollars a month. However, like most hosting companies, Hostinger's renewal prices go up after the first term. That's just how the hosting industry works. So if you want to lock in the lowest possible price, choose the longest plan available when signing up through my link in the description. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run. Now let's talk about Bluehost. Bluehost has been one of the most recommended hosting providers for WordPress for almost two decades. It's actually officially recommended by WordPress itself. If you're planning to create a WordPress website, Bluehost is one of the easiest options out there. You can install WordPress with just one click, and their system is perfectly optimized for it. One thing Bluehost does extremely well is customer support. You can contact them 24-7 by phone or live chat, and they're known for having fast and helpful responses. If you ever run into issues or need to fix something urgently, you can talk to a real person instead of waiting for an email reply. That's a big advantage compared to many cheaper hosts. When it comes to performance, Bluehost offers great speed and reliability, especially for WordPress sites. Their plans include NVMe storage, which is one of the fastest types of web storage available today. It's much faster than standard SSDS, which means your website will load quicker, handle more visitors, and perform better under heavy traffic. This makes Bluehost a solid choice for online stores, blogs, or any site that relies on WordPress plugins and dynamic content. But just like Hostinger, Bluehost's prices can increase after your first term, and they also tend to promote a lot of add-ons during checkout. Things like SEO tools, backup services, and security upgrades. Some of those extras are useful, but if you're not careful, your total price can go up pretty fast. So take your time and select only what you really need. Now, let's compare Hostinger versus Bluehost directly. In terms of price, Hostinger usually wins. It has lower starting prices, and even with renewals, it often ends up being cheaper long term. Bluehost's plans are a bit more expensive, but they make up for it with better customer support and deeper WordPress integration. When it comes to speed, Hostinger's Lightspeed servers are slightly faster for small to medium-sized websites, while Bluehost performs better for larger, WordPress-heavy projects. If you're running a personal blog, portfolio, or small business website, Hostinger is perfect. But if you're creating an online store or something that relies heavily on WordPress, Bluehost might be the better fit. For beginners, Hostinger is easier to use thanks to its HPanel. It's very clean and simple. You can set up your site, email, and backups in minutes. On the other hand, Bluehost uses the classic cPanel, which is more advanced but can be overwhelming for first-time users. However, experienced website owners often prefer it because it gives more flexibility and control. When we look at storage, Bluehost has an advantage with NVMe drives even on their basic plans, while Hostinger's entry-level plans still use standard SSDS. That said, Hostinger's performance is still excellent, especially for how cheap it is. Both companies also give you a free domain name for the first year, free SSL certificates, unlimited bandwidth, and email hosting. 
Support is another key difference. Bluehost offers phone and live chat support 24-7, while Hostinger relies mostly on live chat. Hostinger's support is good, but it can be hit or miss at times, depending on when you contact them. So if talking to someone directly is important for you, Bluehost is the better choice. Overall, both Hostinger and Bluehost are great hosting providers, but they serve slightly different types of users. Hostinger is the best option if you want something fast, simple, and affordable to start your first website. It's budget-friendly and offers strong performance for small projects. Bluehost is better if you're planning to grow your site, build a business, or rely heavily on WordPress. It's more expensive, but it gives you stronger tools, more support, and a smoother experience for WordPress users. If you're still unsure, my advice is simple. Think about what matters most to you. If it's saving money and getting a fast, easy-to-use hosting platform, go with Hostinger. If it's long-term stability, scalability, and premium support, go with Bluehost. Either way, don't forget to use the link in the description to grab the best deal available right now. Those links are updated automatically with the latest offers, so you'll always get the lowest price. And that's my full Hostinger versus Bluehost comparison. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more reviews just like this one. Remember, use my link in the description to get the best possible discount on your hosting plan, whether it's Hostinger or Bluehost. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.